As the CEO of Zalo Creatives, I design and style outfits for every event. Weddings, graduations, Netflix and chill, work, you name it, I have the look for you. All this while branching out into other creative fields. It's a lot of work, but I have come a long way as a software designer who studied accounting. I'm a go-getting girl boss, but best of all, I'm a wife and a mom. I'm Sebastian with and I, and this is my best life. Hello, best lifers. I hope you're well. Welcome to a new video. I am so excited because I'm doing like a new series on the channel. So this series is like... um run my business with me uh so it's basically like a business vlog type of thing where uh, you're gonna follow me around while i run my business i'm gonna show you what i do and how i run my business and you can just see how i get things done and i think it will be very fun and inspiring i hope it inspires you to get up and go after the life that you want as well so I'm kind of still not sure how I'm going to set it up exactly, but because uh, I get too caught up when I do the work, I get too caught up that I forget to speak to the camera. <laughs> so I think when I'm actually doing the work, I'll, I'll mostly just like be on camera showing what I'm doing and then I will do like a confessional type of thing in retrospect, like um sort of reality tv show type of thing so i'm gonna sit and just like guide you guys through the video like a sort of reality show so that's what we're gonna do for now and see how that works and if that makes sense for us so lately i've been like um really trying to be more aware of how i'm using my time and i really want to use my time doing the things that i really love and doing things that are more important to me and not using the excuse that i don't have time for things so i I don't want to use that anymore so if i don't have time i'll just have to make time for something if it's important like filming these youtube videos for you guys it's very very important to me so i don't want to treat it as like a hobby or something that i do in case i get time anymore i just want to include it as part of my work so that um I make time for it and just make sure that everything uh, gets done so now I'm kind of really being a little bit more strict with my time and very limiting as to what I do and what I don't do because I really just want to just do all the things that are important and just scratch out or limit minimize the things that are kind of like eh, 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 you know hey you guys so <clears throat> today is Sunday and it's 22.47, so it's about to be 11 p.m. at night. So I'm just here uh, on my desk and I am just like planning out what my week is going to look like. Uh, drafting down all the tasks that I need to do. And then as I'm, draft, as I'm drafting out all these tasks, I'm like, but there's so much that I wish I could get done. But, you know, I've always been using this excuse. It was, oh, I don't have time. I don't have time, you know. And and it just really got me thinking, would say, like, do I really, really not have time? Or am I misusing time in a way speaking of using time correctly so right now i'm about to film a video because i have my makeup on still and i'm thinking i just need to film a video right now before i wipe my face before i clean my face so that's what i'm going to do right now and Let's see what we get.
tell you guys i just uh finished uh filming the video i wanted to film and then i moved the files to my laptop and yeah it's half past 12 now and my bedtime is one o'clock so i need to start my sleep routine <laughs> and get into bed because i want to sleep at one o'clock i don't want to go to bed at one o'clock so i'm gonna take off my makeup and take a quick shower so that i can rest nicely and then go to bed so while i am managing my time i'm seeking to manage my time a little better kind of get a little bit tricky with load shedding <laughs> that is happening all the time i remember it was stage five and i was literally struggling because um electricity directly affects my business because as a fashion designer who actually sews uh i kind of have to make things the main business is making stuff for people and making them on time so that they can wear them for the events and if i lose a couple of hours just load shedding that really becomes a big deal it affects me directly so um, i've been really trying to find find other ways to not to lose the time and just use a light utilize it uh better so instead of um waiting for electricity to come back and not doing anything since i can't necessarily be on the sewing machine so i've uh, started to do other things during the time so i do other stuff that does not necessarily need me to have electricity so i like cut material for period projects that i'm working on or i go to the fabric store and buy some material or sometimes i just run errands that are not really related to work so that when uh electricity comes back or the power is back on i can just like get to work and not be disturbed by um the other chores or the other errands that i needed to run so i have this app on my phone i'm sure a lot of people have it as well it's called the escom se push or se push i'm not sure how to pronounce it but it's a very useful app if you don't have it you need it because it shows you the schedule uh in your area for load shedding so that you can like schedule yourself uh properly so this is the app and right now i'm on the app and it's saying uh tomorrow at 12 to half past two we're going to be on stage two and i'm not going to have power that time so then if i'm, I'm going to have like um i can schedule like fabric shopping or any other task that doesn't need electricity around that time so that i am productive and i don't waste time Hello, hello, yeah. hello, hello. Yeah. So it's morning, and actually not that early. It's at twelve midday, and I'm about to leave him. I was taking care of him uh, in the morning, and then I got ready, and then now I'm gonna go to the fabric shop and buy some fabric. Hi, hi, hi.
yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up, I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden, I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows, no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you, but I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side, maybe we could be okay Okay, okay, maybe you could be the change I need today, I promise that I've never felt this way Okay, just got back in the car We're about to drive home That took about almost two hours to leave my house because I left my house at 12 and now it's 13.39 I know you told your friend you're not okay and tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way Cause you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey Good morning, so it's the next day and around 11 I'm about to leave and go to F&B to fix my business account uh, Not the account, really the card because I put the wrong pen and the card deactivated so I need to get the card reactivated and there's no electricity right now so I think the best time to go is now the weather is gloomy so I'm wearing this beautiful beautiful long sleeve dress that I recently made so yeah that's what I'm up to right now so let's go from the bank and I think I came back around one from the bank and okay so when I got boy imagine we're supposed to come back at 12 and in here and not come back and uh, I, I think there was a problem so we are like around two to three there and now quite a where it was like unstable we were for five minutes we shuffled we were for five minutes the shuffled was unstable until like half past five that's when it came back and i frantically <coughs> tried to make some food quickly because it was six we would load shit again until half past eight so most of the day we didn't have electricity today so what i did was i wanted to use that time to rest so that my see i can like work 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 so um what i did was mumbia bank i just slept and then we looking for and i'm be like oh still not here oh, still not here and then ngubondo could come over for five minutes and then we'll go again and i'll just go back to sleep like that until yeah until number 14 was six after eating i was like you know what let me sleep again and wake up i was weird so i woke up at nine um to come here and start working so now it's half past 10 what i've been doing is i've been editing some pictures that i took in the morning before i went to the bank and now i'm editing a youtube video just finishing up really 
um, editing up um, editing the video for YouTube so talking about making time so I, I'm deciding that this is how I'm gonna make time so I'm gonna edit finish editing once once the video starts rendering then I'm gonna move on to another task and leave it to rendering I think that way I can get um, more things done and I can keep up with my YouTube if like every time I'm sewing or almost all the time whenever I'm sewing I would love to have a, a video rendering or uploading on the side so yeah that's what I'm up to right now and then after that I need to make some orders Good morning! Hi you guys, so it's Friday and we are just running out to do some fabric shopping. Um, I thought I would do it today because I've been accumulating some orders during the week and some deposits. So I'm like, let me do it today so I can buy all the material and start working on these orders. I'm making one like... 10 things at once uh, obviously we always have late nights so I need me a red bull so I have that so wake me up and then we go right we go right we go right and it's around it's 9 o'clock actually right now I intentionally decided to leave earlier than how when i would normally leave to go fa buy fabric because it's friday and these shops usually close at around 12 and reopen um double two so i don't want to do that so i want to like shop now and then especially because right now there's no electricity so Oh no, just shop now while there's no electricity and then when I come back it's go 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 and by the time I'm done it's about to be humble then it will be great and get get even better man because if I don't go now I'd have to go around two <laughs> excuse me which is not something that I want I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same. I don't really want to hurt you, but I can't. So, a little bit of an update. It's later. <clears throat> this is all the material we got. So, I'm working on a very nice gold outfit. So, this is the material and the gold um, sequin that's going to go on there. It's going to make it look very nice. And then I bought this black. This is the material that I used to make my packaging. So 
I need to make uh, packaging for all the orders that I'm currently working on. Excuse me. I have black sequin here as well. And I am going to use it to make two beautiful dresses. Uh, with this is gonna I'm gonna line it with this and then over here. I'm making a green dress for uh, My bride, it's not just gonna be green. There needs to be a print with a green as well uh, But I haven't found one that looks nice and so that's going to wait a little bit until I find the print But I have the green material. I have the that hot tool. I also have the hat that she's gonna wear with that uh, All of this is going to be like zhuzhed up and then over here I have some red material for our ready to wear line and here I have some beautiful feathers for another beautiful chocolate dress that I'm making but I don't have the, ma the material quite yet because I couldn't find it but I'm gonna find it tomorrow morning and we're gonna make that tomorrow thing about low shading is that like everyone it affects everyone and everyone knows that uh you can't really do much <laughs> kind of makes sense like i can't sew if there's an electricity but still that doesn't change the deadline it wastes my time yes but it doesn't change the deadline like if the customer if the client wants her dress on a saturday she needs a dress on the, on the saturday doesn't matter how much load shedding we had during the week and what stopped me what wasted my time so if I lose those hours I need to figure out how I find I, I make the time and what really used to affect me even worse was when there was load shedding during the night because it would be so dark that I can't even really do the other tasks that I can do like I, I can't cut, I can't hand sew or anything uh, because it's like really dark and I can't see. I tried hand sewing <laughs> or, or using a candle and it absolutely didn't work. <laughs> when the electricity came back on, I found out that I was literally doing rubbish. So, so because I was really having a hard time getting work done during the night if there was no load shed, if there was load shedding so i decided to get a lamp so i got this uh lamp or lantern it's actually a rechargeable handheld led lantern it's pretty awesome pretty awesome <laughs> this thing is like the best purchase i've ever made I've got it from Macro, but I've literally seen it everywhere. I think pretty much every supermarket, or I've also seen it at Leroy. And at Macro, I got it for like 250 something rand. But I think wherever I've seen it, I've never really seen it for more than 260. And this is an awesome, awesome, awesome lamp, you guys. So you literally just plug it in the in the socket when there's electricity and it charges and fully charged it can last up to 60 hours which is more than two days can you believe <laughs> it's awesome and it's really really bright so it lights up the room and i can pretty much do everything uh with just the lights it almost looks like you have the room lights and it's just awesome because when you and you, when you have it plugged in and you have it on the emergency mode whenever the electricity the power goes out it automatically lights so no stress on your side you don't have to uh frantically find it and turn it on no you can just like automatic it automatically turns on and if in like if there's an emergency situation and your battery is low it has an emergency charging port that you can use to charge your phone i'm not really i'm not you re really using that one because i haven't used it yet and it's emergency so they don't advise that you actually just charge for no reason unless it is an, an emergency but it is a very awesome lamp and or lantern and the fact that it's handheld you can literally put it anywhere so if you need this if 
if you really want to work at night as well you can just um get this get this <laughs> Because it seems like I avoided getting this for the longest time Because I thought load shedding was going to be a temporal thing But looks like it's going to be permanent And it also works even if it doesn't, it's not plugged in Because it's, it's battery operated So it just goes like Right It lights and works perfectly fine I know you told your friend you're not okay and tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, as you fade away This video right here don't forget to subscribe please 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 subscribe and become a best lifer if you are willing to go after the life that you want after your best life definitely subscribe because this uh, channel is all about inspiring you to go after your best life and look good doing it so also check uh, check out the description box because all oh, I'm gonna put in there like useful uh, resources like I'm gonna link the lamp and um, the app and all the things that that can be useful for you and also because we like to look good while doing all the things that we do I'm also going to just give you more um, more links to the outfits that I wore in this video throughout this vlog so if you're interested in buying anything you can just uh or just getting a closer look you can go to those links uh thank you so much also give this video a thumbs up if you really really liked it that would really be inspiring and for me and yeah i'll really appreciate that <laughs> okay thank you so much i will see you tomorrow